okay so hi uh, so this will be the uh, i think uh, the last part actually so we are going to talk about the custom node and guys if there is any update i will be updating that in this playlist okay so in the custom node so right now if you have seen that right now whatever nodes which we are able to create is just like the default one you have it you name it that's it so let's say if you want to create any custom node uh, let's say if you want to have a text field or a drop down button anything and that's why we are building it right so you can do that also and uh, yeah so right now since we are talking about components one more thing i want to add so if you remember in the nodes you can all in the label you can pass a div or any custom prop also so you can do that also okay uh coming back here coming back here so if you want to create your own uh, uh component so we can create that and uh let's do it we create a function and uh, name it as a text input node okay uh, something and I've created in components you can do it anything and uh, there might be anything related to this and now let's export this so here um, what we do is we return an empty fragment at the moment okay so uh, we will create a div which will have a uh oh anyways so which will have a custom node title and let's say it has an input we name uh, the input as a uh, like th uh, like in this input field we can add something okay so let's say it has uh, an id of uh, input and uh, name is equals to text uh, text whatever we give it okay so uh, this is the first step you create the component but to make it a node we need handlers okay so you warp this both with handler component so make sure that you have imported that from the react flow okay so i'm just right handle and uh yep. okay so you warp this both with the handle component okay so we will be needing two handles one is for the input and one is for the output okay so this also includes uh, something called type so this will accept the input and this type uh, oh okay so the, no 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 not input we will call it as source i just checked <laughs> and this one will be the target so same work but name is changed okay so source input target output that's how we call it here okay and then there is something called position so where you want this position to appear so for that we should make sure that you have uh, imported position from the react flow so you can just do uh, position dot top and i will just do position dot bottom okay so this is our uh, simple <laughs> one which we created okay and uh, then there is a on change event which we will be uh, linking it with an on change event right uh, here change so this will have some uh, 
data to it okay but as i said uh you should always use use memo or use callback if you remember so since there will be multiple renders so we will be doing like this use callback and uh, we will be setting the i will just uh, at this i will just console log the event actually this will be an event right yeah this is an event so we will be console dot log dot target dot value yeah value yes okay so we will be logging the whatever time we type in the console okay so this is our uh, text input node so we have created our custom component now let's see how we will add that in the node so we go back to the react flow here uh, so here you have to do first thing is you have to you know uh, initialize with a use memo so this is the text updater like this is the name which we will be using in the node prop in the nodes okay and this is uh, the component which we have imported so i think the name is not correct i will just recheck so this is any at this moment so yeah so we have imported this okay so this is the node types which we have created so uh, next what we do is we go to our e node okay so we add another node okay so this will be of id4 and uh, position let's add the this value x 300 y uh, 300 and now in the type you have to add this so let's see if we update update so right now it's not coming yet okay uh, what we have missed no data we don't need data here i just check what we have missed okay um i think i missed i forgot to define this so we have created the node types so now we have to initialize that here node uh, types and you initialize here okay so right now you can see our custom component is working fine so now whatever i type here it shows up in the console so it's working great okay uh, guys one more thing i forgot to share uh it's a performance update so if you don't want to use use memo every time you can uh, you can define this node type let's say above the component itself like here okay i would i don't know what happened okay and we can define it like this it will still work so yeah so that's how so if you want to use uh, inside the component you use use memo else it's fine <coughs> okay so that's it for today uh, video oh uh, and uh, yep if there's something any update i will be adding this in the playlist so thank you guys for watching have a nice day